Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look into the integrals of some more particular functions. In the earlier session, we have seen integral of 1 by root of a square minus x square, 1 by x square minus a square and 1 by x square plus a square. In this, in this session, we will see the same functions if they are having square root, how to deal with them. So, we will be trying to solve this find finding out the formula derive the formula by using trigonometric substitution so let's go ahead with one by one the first one we have we have to find out integral of dx by root of a square minus x square now if we want to do trigonometric substitution we have to always remember that first we have to see I have to substitute which value equal to x in such a way that this square root can be taken off. So for that if you look into you have couple of options. You can take x equal to a sin theta. If I take x equal to a sin theta what happens? I will have a square minus a square sin square theta which is a square cos square theta and when I do square root it will become a cos theta. So the idea is always to take out the square root in the denominator. So when I do x equal to a sin theta dx will be a cos theta d theta. Now the next step will be integral of dx is a cos theta d theta divided by square root of a square minus x is a sin theta so can I write a square sin square theta which is equal to integral of a cos theta d theta divided by square root of a square into 1 minus sin square theta which is equal to integral of a cos theta divided by square root of a square cos square theta because we know 1 minus sin square theta equal to cos square theta which is integral of a cos theta by cos theta which is nothing but equal to integral of 1 that is equal to theta plus c. But what is theta? Theta is nothing but we will go back here. We have x by a equal to sin theta therefore theta equal to sin inverse x by a. Now what I want you to do is take sin inverse x by a and look at the derivative of that. If you do the differentiation you will see that derivative of sin inverse x by a is nothing but 1 by root of a square minus x square. So whenever we see functions where a can have, a can have any value like 2 or 4 a numerical value or a fraction and x can be x minus 1 x minus 3 or 2 x minus 5. So you have this type of functions you can actually do you can use the formula sin inverse of x by a by taking suitable substitution. So let's go to the next one integral of square root of x square minus a square dx. So how to find out the integral of this again we will be doing trigonometric substitution. Let us see now which one is comfortable. If I take if I take x equal to a sin theta or cos theta what happens is in the square root you will have negative values. So we will start with x equal to a secant theta so that we know that secant square theta minus 1 is equal to tan square theta. So you have to remember that whenever you go for trigonometric substitution for this x equal to a sin theta for the next one x equal to a secant theta and the for the third one x equal to a tan theta. Always the substitution in such a way that the square root can be taken off. So that is the whole idea and make sure that in the square root we don't have any negative values because you know square root of negative leads to complex numbers. Okay, right. Now integral of dx by root of x square minus a square 
my next step will be integral of we'll do x equal to a secant theta what will be dx dx equal to a secant theta tan theta d theta so instead of dx i can write down a secant theta d theta i can write down a secant theta tan theta d theta and divide that with square root of x square that is a square secant square theta minus a square if we simplify that that's equal to i'll change the color so that there is no confusion we'll have a secant theta tan theta d theta divided by square root of a square into secant square theta minus 1 that is equal to integral of a secant theta tan theta divided by a square tan square theta square root of a square tan square theta because we know secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta which is nothing but equal to a secant theta tan theta d theta divided by a tan theta now a tan theta a tan theta will cancel we get integral of secant theta d theta so the next step we know integral of secant theta d theta is nothing but equal to log of secant theta plus tan theta plus c this is what we know in the last couple of sessions before we have done what is integral of secant theta integral of secant theta is nothing but log of secant theta plus tan theta plus c now let's go back and find out if i take x equal to a secant theta what will be the values of secant theta and tan theta so can i say log of log of secant theta is nothing but equal to x by a because x equal to a secant theta can i say x by a equal to secant theta and then what is tan theta we can do the triangle that's always the easiest part instead of going to the identities so if i take theta i have x by a is secant theta so cut over cos is adjacent by hypotenuse hypotenuse by adjacent is secant theta so x here and a here and this is nothing but square root of x square minus a square so tan theta is root of x square minus a square divided by a plus c which is equal to log of x plus root of x square minus a square minus log of a plus c which is equal to log of x plus root of x square minus a square plus some constant c1 so how we got this one we know that secant theta is x by a by pythagoras theorem this side will be root of x square minus a square so the ratio so we know that then tan theta is opposite by adjacent that is root of x square minus a square by a so we use that so cut over so that it becomes easy okay let's go to the next one you can actually try it out you will have dx by root of x square plus a square coming as log of x plus root of x square plus a square instead of minus it will be log of x plus root of x square plus a square we will do that in couple of minutes so the last one we have to find out the integral of root of x square plus a square so what we will do now is we will take x equal to a tan theta as we have described or discussed earlier you have dx equal to a secant square theta 
d theta. Now let's go back and substitute. We have dx equal to a secant square theta d theta and we have root of x square is nothing but a square tan square theta plus a square which is nothing but equal to a secant square theta d theta divided by square root of a square into 1 plus tan square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. So we can write it as a secant square theta d theta divided by a square secant square theta in square root which is equal to a secant square theta d theta divided by a secant theta. A, a will cancel. You will get integral of secant theta d theta which is equal to log of secant theta plus tan theta. And like earlier when we substitute we will get log of x plus root of x square plus a square plus c because we have our triangle where we have tan theta equal to x by a so this is x and this is a this is root of x square plus a square so secant theta is adjacent secant theta is hypotenuse by adjacent so that is root of x square plus a square by a plus x by a you simplify that you will get your answer as log of x plus root of x square plus a square plus c now once we have gone through all these six formulas we will try to solve problems where the given problem given problem can be converted or transformed into any one of these six like dx by a square minus x square dx by x square minus a square dx by x square plus a square or the other three with a radical or square root on them like dx by root of a square minus x square dx by root of x square minus a square and dx by root of x square plus a square those things we will see in the coming sessions before we move there we just look into couple of other important particular type of functions how to solve them so now based on whatever the knowledge we have acquired let us look into how to solve the problems of integrals of type dx by ax square plus bx plus c what we do we take ax square plus bx plus c we will use completing the squares method completing the squares method which you i think you are already aware so we will leverage that and we'll try to convert the denominator into any one of the standard forms just we learned denominator to be converted into 1 by a square minus x square or 1 by a square plus x square or 1 by x square minus a square for which we know the integral already. So that is how we deal with dx by ax square plus bx plus c. Now the next one for dx by square root of ax square plus bx see what we do again we use completing the squares method or we can also use method of substitution both of them together completing the squares method and you convert that into one of the standard format denominator to be converted into denominator to be converted into one of the standard forms that is 1 by root of a square minus x square 1 by root of x square minus a square or 1 by root of x square plus a square. Let's go to the next one. In these two cases what we do is see here earlier we have only dx by so there is nothing in the numerator so now we have in the numerator px plus q. So what we will do now is try to convert this into integral of px plus q dx by root of either root or without root what we will do is we will try to the point is to convert the numerator 
into some a into f dash x that is nothing but 2ax plus b plus some capital B divided by root of ax square plus bx plus c. So what we do is whatever the numerator we have given we will try to convert that into we will say that suppose let us say this is we have px plus q we will write px plus q in such a way that a into derivative of the function the idea is if i have f dash x by f of x if i have f dash x by f of x then i can write it as either if it is f of x i can write it as log f, f log of f x if it is root f x then i know i can write it as 2 root f x and the next part whatever you have the second part that is b by root of a x square plus b x plus c that can be solved like earlier problem anyway we'll be looking into so many examples into this so don't need to worry about the explanation part as of now just remember that we are going to deal with all these problems and we'll solve them out so there are like you have dx by ax square plus bx plus c convert them into standard form dx by root of ax square plus bx plus c complete the squares and convert them if you have px plus q that means there is a value in the numerator though convert that numerator into a constant times of derivative plus another constant so that you can transform them into known into known form for which you can easily find out the integral they are f dash x by f of x integral or integral of f dash x by root of f x or integral of 1 by f of x for all of this we know how to find out the integral very easily so look into that in the coming session where we'll be doing lot of examples thanks for your time and support bye for now